Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. Uh, it's been a long day. Uh, this is it was a brew day and a bottling day for me. So to kind of celebrate, to kind of relax with, want well, sort of a special beer. So we're gonna take a look at the latest release from Firestone Walker, and this is Abacus. This is their barrel-aged barley wine. Now I just found out that according to their website. This beer is formally called Abacus and is pending a new name. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but it's a 13% alcohol by volume barley wine. It's been barrel aged. Um, there's a lot of good info on the front of the bottle. Um, they're using a British yeast. It's a 36 SRM, calling it dark ruby. SRM is standard rate measurement, which is a way to, to measure uh, the color of the beer. And then we have the, uh, the kind of cap cover that I've seen um, all of these uh, reserve series beers. Uh, what other info is on here? Uh, 42 IBUs, and uh, they only produced 1,500 cases of the beer, so it's very limited. Managed to get a couple bottles, but it was sold out so quick. And a lot of uh, places I went were, uh, were limiting this to one or two bottles a person, so very fortunate to get it. Let's get this thing poured. Let's go down the middle because it's 13%. Yeah, getting a little head on there. Not bad. I mean, 13% is a pretty big beer, but um, for a barley wine, it's not unreasonable. And I've loved it, all this whole entire series, so I'm expecting this to be another fantastic beer from Firestone Walker. One finger head, pretty much kind of a light, light brown, kind of khaki, mostly small bubbles. Yeah, that, that color is pretty much ruby. Um, although I can't see entirely through it, I can see the, uh, around, along the bottom of the glass, it's nice ruby red, decent carbonation coming up. So just kind of spot on barley wine, typically we see with these real malty beers. So let's get the aroma on it. Oh wow, there's a lot going on there, uh, as you expect. Mmm, man, like uh, vanilla. Uh, dark fruits, big time raisins, plum. There's um, there's some alcohol in there. Caramel notes, big time caramel notes. I mean that's something you usually get on, on barley wines. Uh, man, just it's one of those beers that you just sit down with and just start picking it apart. I mean, you get yeah. I mean, you get barrel characters. Um, they don't say what barrels. I believe it's a combination of uh, a few different ones. So they say barrels. It's not like just bourbon. Um, could be bourbon. Could be brandy. Could be just flat out oak. Not entirely sure with this one. Yeah, with the British yeast strains, they a lot of times have big kind of fruity esters, and you get you get kind of the that character on this beer as well. It's just a combination of malt and yeast. Is, Big time uh, dark fruits. One of the characters apparently I missed with the Firestone Walker was a uh, toasted coconut, which is definitely a barrel characteristic. Do get a little bit of this, um, but mostly the oak comes through. The more I get that kind of really nice earthy wood character on this beer. So as this head is now faded away, I'm gonna dig in. I'm probably drinking this at about 55 degrees right now, maybe heading towards 60. So cheers. Oh wow, oh wow, these, oh. wow that's a great barley wine. Um, it's warming like down your throat, but there's like no alcohol character until the absolute very end, mass so well, it's so smooth, amazingly smooth this beer. Um, it's so like soft and creamy, uh, it's medium to full, medium full body, but it's so creamy and smooth. Um, it's got a lot of those nose characteristics that you're getting in the aroma on the taste, but uh, wow. What's amazing about this beer is all those flavors come together so well. Um, up front I get like lighter fruits. I almost get a borderline like cherry character, but you get kind of a, like a lighter fruit kind of raisin. And then the, the darker fruits come in, um, along with just big huge caramel malt characteristic and then it's um, 
it's not too sweet too. Um, they nailed the uh, the balance on this one because it, it is it leans a little more towards an English style IPA at uh, 42 IBUs. I mean that's about the border of what you'd see with that style. Um, but it's got enough like there's a nice finish where there's just enough bitterness in that backbone to come through and not make it go sweet on your palate. Um, finish is really clean. I wouldn't call it dry, just very clean, um, just a touch of lingering, just a touch of lingering alcohol notes and some of the, um, the kind of fruity character, uh, mainly raisin, got a lot of raisin in this one. And then to say that, the, the fig character actually is coming out a lot more. Yeah, fig, caramel fig. Um, it's now the more I drink it, it's going into a, a vinous character. Maybe that's what I'm getting up front with the cherry. It's almost like a, like a red wine sort of character that you get. Um, just because it, it's about alcohol wise on par with a, a wine. And a lot of those kind of fruit characteristics with the lighter and darker fruits kind of come together, give it a kind of vinous character. Now I'm getting more of that kind of like cherry character with uh, vanilla notes coming from that oak. Um, it, it's a beer where every sip might be uh, slightly different. You're, you're going to get different flavors. Uh, maybe a touch of that coconut in there, but not, I don't know, I don't get too much coconut. But it's got that kind of, you know, vanilla, coconut, wood kind of, it's like a mix of all that. So well blended. Now, just going back to the nose, it's just, now you've kind of poured it into your glass and let it opened up. It's almost like a scotch or, you know, fine whiskey where the aroma's going to change as the kind of carbonation uh, escapes out the glass. It's a little softer, getting less alcohol. More vanilla uh, definitely comes out. And then the, the taste wise is so complex. So, grade wise, um, I'm going to go A plus on this one. It's, it's one of the best barley wines I've ever had. I would put this up there with what, from, I, I'm not a huge, and I'm not a huge barley wine fan, but I'm going to throw this one up there with the likes of, uh, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a really limited beer, but Stone Stonewall is one of the best barley wines I've ever had. Weyerbacher's and Sandy's, a fantastic uh, barley wine to age on oak. Um, trying to think of some of the other really nice ones I've had um, that are more like in the British style, not the American style. I mean, it can't, you can't compare this to a Sierra Nevada Bigfoot or a Stone Old Guardian or any of those kind of poppy West Coast American style barley wines. This one's got to be more English. Guys at Firestone Walker. Up in uh, Paso, man, I gotta go up to Paso because uh, I gotta check the place out. Uh, unbelievable beers from them. Another absolute winner in their proprietary series. I think that's about it as far as I know they're gonna release in the proprietary series. It's gonna be Abacus, Parabola, and then their uh, Porter, and then whatever anniversary beer they're doing. So, I'll be looking forward to their uh, summer seasonal coming out. So, Solus pretty soon. So. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.